This is Portal Combat and today we're talking about the US Open winners Stan Wawrinka and Angie Kerber. Kerber is now the new world number one having dethroned Serena Williams after a run of 186 weeks. Is this a change of guard in tennis, my friend Pranav? You know, this is the problem with you guys. Everything is a change of guard, new era. I mean, one person does well, has a good year, new queen of tennis. We're talking about the queen. This is something that is a serious conversation and cannot be appointed to someone who's just had one good year. Hang on a sec. It's, it's, we're talking about Serena Williams who's dominated the game for a serious amount of time and it has to be about consistent winning. Only consistent winning will make a new queen. And based on our debates, you don't know about winning, forget consistent winning. You know, Pranav, I know a lot about consistent whining, courtesy you. But the point is, Serena's last Grand Slam was Wimbledon this year. The one before that was Wimbledon last year. It's not like she's stacking them up, bro. You know, I have so much to teach this guy about sports, it's ridiculous. That's what happens at the end of someone's career. It happened with Sampras, it happened, it's happening right now with Federer, happened with Martina Navratilova and with Steffi Graf. You can't just hand over the crown to Kerbo or anyone else because of one good year. Thanks bro, Kerbo's doing fine without your approval. Uh -huh. But let's talk about Wawrinka who stunned Novak Djokovic in the final. What's surprising though is when we did our video at the start of this tournament, the odds for him to win were lower than players ranked lower than him. Now the point is, is Wawrinka an all-time wildcard entrant? Look, let me put it this way. I would not bet on Stan Wawrinka to win a Grand Slam before it starts. Assuming, of course, that everyone else is playing. So technically, he should be considered a wildcard. But dude, he's world number three. So he can't be a wildcard, no. Oh, thanks, sir. Thanks, Pranav. So you're calling him a wildcard and not a wildcard. Thanks for coming. Anyway, the thing about Wawrinka is this. His performances are so varied. He comes into these Grand Slams with no major momentum. He's now won three tournaments from three finals, which shows that he's a big match player. Djokovic has called him a member of the new top five, the big five. I don't think he wants any of that. He wants to come lagao his backhand and win Grand Slams. Wimbledon is left for a career slam. He's going for that next year. He's my dude to watch next year. You know what, the big four or the big five, whatever you want to call it, is dead, my friend. But that's a longer debate and another topic. So we'll see you next time.